content. First of all, thank you because we are about to reach 500 subscribers. So thank you to build our community. If you have not subscribed, do click on bottom right of your screen and subscribe. Today this video is about mapping. Won't it be cool if we had a robot which is kept in an unknown environment and which has a laser scan and it gives you a map. You see on the screen right side is the exact scenario in VBOT which is available custom and left side is output which robot gives us because it goes around the map and saves the points where there are obstacles. For this scenario, we are going to use standard library of SLAM GMAP. At the end, we will be saving the map uses navigation package. In navigation package, it uses map server. So two things, one GMAP and second map server. If you have not seen previous video, how to set up ROS, uh, do watch and if you have already done it, you will have a package where you will have build, devil and source and in this you will have VBOTS ROS. What we will do is, we will first of all clone the GMAP SLAM library. We click on git clone, so we copy the URL and paste it here. If I am using Linux and if you want to paste it on terminal, you click Control Shift V. So you see this, if I hit on enter, I will get slam gmapping package. Okay. I also need to install navigation package. So I go to the navigation package. I copy the URL, control C and I paste it. And again, when I hit enter, I will see that I have navigation as a package in my ROS framework. I will go to this directory, it's in desktop, soft workspace, source, I'll go one back. So yeah, now we catkin make. So when you click on catkin make, maybe there will be case where your package will break. So if I do catkin make in my case, oops, oh, I think I'll need to, so I just shifted my folder from uh, main home to this. So I need to rm-rf, I will remove my build and devil. Okay, so now I just have source folder. Now if I catkin make, it's building. So it is building all the packages which are available in VBOTS, GMapping and navigation. Maybe for first or second time, you will have package broken and it will ask you for some dependency which is not being installed. In my case, I install all the dependencies. So it reaches 100% and don't worry, even if it breaks, I'll give you a solution where you can fix the dependencies and everything will work fine. So in this case, it's done. There are some dependencies which will definitely break and which I fixed in my case. So I will let you know the names. We'll use the next terminal for that case. So if your thing breaks, you need to use sudo apt get install ros kinetic open slam gmapping. This package, this dependency is used by gmapping package and usually doesn't come with standard ros. I will be giving complete list of instructions in the description below. You can copy paste those instructions and if your package is breaking, it will break and it will give you a name. So for example, I will tell you how did I get this. When my package broke, it told me that I don't have open slam gmapping. So 
what I did was to search a package, you click sudo apt cache c a c h e and search. And then you search for open slam and g nothing. So when I click on enter, open slam g mapping. So, so let's search for open slam invalid operator. Oh, sorry, I screwed the search spelling. Yeah, if I click on open slam, I see these are the packages which are available on ROS. So in my case, we need ROS kinetic open slam g mapping. So I copied this package sudo apt get install and I paste the package name and when I click on enter it's already been built for my case but it will ask you to click on Y and it will build the package and one more dependency which is not being installed is TF which will be used by navigation so I will need to click through sudo app get install ROS kinetic TF sensor messages. So when I click on enter, in my case it's already built, so it will bit again. And once you are done with this, you will need to again catkin make. In my case, it reached 100%, so I am good. If it doesn't make 100%, you need to find the packages, install them, and again catkin make so that you can build your package successfully. Now, once we are done building the package, we will start, we will source it. So we'll click source, devil, setup, dot bash. So now when we click this, a bash script runs and all the packages which we enter will be searched in this package first and then in the standard package. So now, we have ROS launch, VBOTS ROS, Pioneer 380.launch. This is a standard pack provided by VBOTS. So if I hit on enter, it will start the scenario which we saw initially. So it will spawn a map. See, you see this map and you see this robot. But this robot is stationary, so control alt tab, new terminal. Again, I will source this. And this robot needs a ROS run. So there is a C script which enables all the sensors, camera, and the motion of robot. So it is ROS run, VBOTS ROS, Pioneer 380. So when I click on enter, it starts motion. So you see your robot started moving. It is showing me camera. And also it is equipped with laser scan. So we'll on one more terminal, we will do the same thing. Source double setup dot bash. Uh, now we'll start the G mapping node. So G mapping node for that case, it's syntax is ROS run g mapping slam g mapping and here you need to write scan this is the way how we uh, give the topic slam and you need to write the topic name of scan so to search topic name of your robot you need to click cross topic list so you get all the list of topics and I see my topic is Pioneer 3 SIC LMS 290 laser scan layer 0. So I copy this topic name and I again do ROS run G mapping slam G mapping scan colon equal to I name the topic name and I enter. So you see it's 
started registering scan. So now basically it's making a map. So we'll look uh, at it in RVIS. So when I click RVIZ, and when I hit on enter, we get a scenario. This is an application where we get how the robot is pursuing. So first of all, we'll go to map. So we see we fixed our frame of map and now let's add map topic because we will see the scan in map topic. So when I click on map topic, I see our robot has started making the path now, if I want to see my TF of robot to know where my robot is, so I click on TF, I click on OK. We'll have this parallel running. So we'll have this running here. And we'll see So you see this map is being made. And I think we need to search for our robot. Where are you? This is all usually a scenario where you lose your robot. So if that is the case, you can easily find it by clicking on robot here. So our robot name is here. Here it is. So I found it's here. So our robot is here. So if I shift my robot and start the movement, it avoids the obstacle this time and it's making the map. So you see these areas are this in the map and see it's building the map because in this case, it's looking at the laser scan and building slowly. You see this block is made, which is this block. And it's storing the data and most of the things are done by G-mapping. So how this works is it has a transformation of itself from the map and from that transformation, it searches for obstacles. And when it sees an obstacle, it saves it in a map and then slowly our map starts getting stored. So this is how our full map will be built and you can leave it for 10 minutes. And at the end, if you want to save your map, so we'll open new terminal. Let's source this terminal. And we will ROS run. So this is a package C++ package which is in map server, map server, and we'll write map map saver dash f. So this will open the file and we'll name our map as my map underscore one. And this map will be stored in this workspace. So you see it saved our map and now let's see where our map is being stored. So let's go in soft workspace where these are the files which are generated. So see, we'll open this. This is the custom map, which is exactly same as RWIS. So it's just tilted. You can shift this and you see the same map. Uh, it's not being made perfect because it's taking time. So you can keep it for a while and you get this map. And it also gives you the ratio. For example, your origin is here. You can change the origin. It gives you resolution and name of map, which is loading. So this is all. These are the steps to be followed. And this will be in the description. So this was about how to make a map store it and basically this comes under gmapping package hope you like the video if you like to share the video and 
Let's learn Ross and Vibots together. Thank you.